Hi, in this lesson, we will see about heap data structure. Heap is a specialized tree based data structure, which is essentially an almost complete tree that satisfies this condition. If A is parent of B, then A is ordered with respect to B for all nodes A, B in the heap. We will see this definition in detail with the max and min heap. When we say tree, it is undirected and acyclic. That is, tree should not have directed edges and it should not contain cycle. What is complete and full binary tree? Whenever we are creating a heap, we need to add elements level by level, starting from the root node and from left to right in each level. If the nodes are filled in this way, then it is said to be complete. A binary tree is said to be full if all the levels are completely filled. Now we will see some binary tree and determine whether it is full or complete or incomplete. This tree is complete because in all levels the nodes are filled from left to right. This is not full because the last level is not completely filled. It still has two vacant nodes. The second tree. This tree is complete because all the levels the nodes are filled from left to right and it is full because all the levels are completely filled. So this tree is complete and full. The third tree. This tree is incomplete because in level 3 the nodes are not filled from left to right so it is incomplete. Heap need to be a complete binary tree. So we will see what is the important application of heap. Priority queue is abstract data type. In priority queue, higher priority elements are placed at the top of the queue. Priority queue can be effectively implemented using heap. To know more about priority queue, refer to my video tutorial on priority queue, the link of which I gave in the description. Now you will see how to represent the data in the heap. The most important part of heap is we will use the array data structure to represent the heap. Now you may be curious that how can we represent a binary tree using the array data structure? This is done by using the index positions. We will see those in detail. Here we will use the array whose index starts from position 0. In generally in almost all the programming language, array index starts from the index position 0. So the root node of heap is at the index 0. So for the node at index i, the immediate parent is at index i minus 1 divided by 2. Here this is integer division and we need to truncate the decimal value. For example, for example the immediate parent of index 2 is 2 minus 1 which is 1 and 1 divided by 2 which is 0 0.5 we need to truncate the decimal value. So the immediate parent for the element at index 2 is 0. Likewise the immediate parent of element at 3 is 3 minus 1 which is 2 and 2 divided by 2 which is 1. So the immediate parent for the element at index 3 is index 1. The left child for the element at the index i is at the index 2 into i plus 1. So for the element at the index 4, the left child element is at the index 2 into 4 which is 8 and 2 plus 1. So the left child for the element at the index position 4 is at index 9. The right child for the element at the index i is at the index 2 into i plus 2. So for the element at the index 1, the right child element is at the index 2 into 1 which is 2 and 2 plus 2 which is 4. So the right child for the element at the index 1 is at the index 4. Now we have seen how to find the immediate parent of a node and how to find the right child of a node and left child of a node. The height of the complete binary tree is log n. By the definition there are two kinds of heap. They are min heap and max heap. First we will see about min heap. In min heap, all the parent nodes in the tree must be lesser than its child node. So we will check whether this tree is min heap or not. All the parent nodes in the tree must be lesser than its child node. So we will check whether this tree is min heap. First we need to check whether it is a tree. There should not be any cycle. Here there are no cycle. The min heap for all the parent nodes value must be lesser than its child node. Here we will start from the last non-leaf node which is 5. Its child nodes are 12 and 18 which are greater than its parent 5. So this node satisfies this condition. Next move to the next non-leaf node from the last which is 4. Here its child nodes are 9 and 10 which are greater than its parent 4. So this node satisfies this condition. Next is the root node. The child nodes of the root nodes are 4 and 5 which are greater than the root node 2. So the root node satisfies this condition. As a whole, this binary tree is a min heap. So we have seen in min heap, 
all the parent node in the tree must be lesser than its child nodes. Now we will see about max heap. We have seen what is min heap. In max heap, all the parent nodes in the tree must be greater than its child node. So we will check whether this tree is max heap. First, we need to check whether it is a tree. There should not be any cycle. Here there is no cycle, so it is tree. In max heap, all the parent node's value must be greater than its child node. Here we will start from the last non-leaf node which is 6. Its child nodes are 4 and 1 which are lesser than its parent 6. So this node satisfies this condition. Next non-leaf node from last which is 5. Here its child nodes are 2 and 3 which are lesser than its parent 5. So this node satisfies this condition. Next is the root node. The child node of root node are 5 and 6 which are lesser than the root node 8. So the root node satisfies this condition. Now as a whole this binary tree is max heap. Now we have seen what is max heap and what is min heap. Now we will see how to add element to min heap. Adding an element to min heap. We know in min heap all the parent node must have values lesser than its child nodes. Before doing that we will check whether it is min heap. The root node 5 is less than its child node 8 and 9. Then the left node 8 is less than its child nodes 12 and 15. The right node 9 is less than its child nodes 10 and 11. So this is min heap. In this example we will add 3 to this min heap. We know a heap must be complete. Since the level 3 is already filled we need to start the level 4 by starting from the left side. Now we need to perform shift up. We need to check the parent of 3 which is 12. 12 is greater than 3 so swap 12 with 3. Now check the parent of 3 which is 8. 8 is greater than 3 so swap 8 with 3. Now the root node is 3. Now check whether this tree is min heap. Yes it is. It is a min heap. So in this way you can add a element to the min heap. So the procedure to add an element in the min heap is add the element at the last and check for its parent. If it is lesser than its parent then swap. Continue this till it is greater than the parent node or till the root node. This process is called shift up. The time complexity of adding an element in the heap is depends on the height of the tree. The height of the tree is log n. So the time complexity of adding element in the heap is log n. Now we have seen how to add element to the min heap. Now we will see how to remove an element from the heap. We can remove only the top of the heap. In case of min heap, the root node is always lesser than or equal to all the nodes in the heap. So keeping this in mind, remove the top of the heap which is 3. Now we need to replace this empty node with the last node in the heap. Here the last element is 12. Now we need to perform shift down to make this tree as min heap. Shift down starts from the root node. Need to compile the child nodes. Since it is min heap, need to find the smallest among the both and compare it with the root node. If it is lesser than the root node then replace the child node with the parent node. 5 is lesser than 9. Compare 5 with 12. 12 is greater than 5 so swap 12 and 5. Check the node 12's child node. 12's child node are 8 and 15. Out of this 8 is smallest. So compare this 8 with 12. 12 is still greater than 8 so swap the parent with the left child. Now the 12 is the leaf node, the tree is min heap now. The time complexity of removing an element in the heap is depends on the height of the tree. The height of the tree is log n, so the time complexity of removing an element in the heap is also log n. Now we have seen how to add and remove an element from the min heap. Now we will see how to add and remove an element from the max heap. This will be more or less same but we will see what are the main differences. We know in max heap all the parent node must have values greater than its child node. Now we will see how to add an element to the max heap. We will check whether it is max heap. The root node 12 is less than its child nodes 8 and 9. The left node 8 is greater than its child nodes 7 and 5. The right node 9 is greater than its child nodes 4 and 6. So this is max heap. In this example we will add 15 to this max heap. We know heap must be complete. Since the level 3 is already filled, we need to start filling the level 4 starting from the left hand side. Now we need to perform shift up. We need to check the parent of 15 which is 7. 
15 is greater than 7, so swap 15 with 7. Now check the parent of 15, which is 8. 8 is lesser than 15, so swap 8 with 15. Now the root node is 15. Now check whether this tree is max heap. Yes, it is max heap. So the procedure to add an element in the heap is add the element at the last and check for its parent. If it is lesser than its parent, then swap. Continue this till it is lesser than the parent node or till it reaches the root node position. Removing an element from the max heap. We can remove only the top of the heap, which is root node. In case of max heap, the root node is always greater than or equal to all other nodes in the heap. So keeping this in mind, remove the top of the heap, which is 15. Now we need to replace this empty root node with the last node in the heap. Here the last node element is 7. Now we need to perform the sift down to make this tree as max heap. Sift down starts from the root node. We need to compare the child nodes. Since it is max heap, we need to find the largest among the both child nodes and compare it with the root node. If it is greater than the root node, then replace that child node with the parent node. Continue this till the root node is greater than both these child nodes or you reach the leaf node. The root node is 7. Compare its child nodes 12 and 9. 12 is greater than 9. 12 is greater than 7. So swap 12 and 7. Now check the node 7 child nodes. The 7 child nodes are 8 and 5. Out of this 8 is largest. So compare this 8 with 7. 8 is greater than 7. So swap. So swap the parent with the left child. Now 7 is the leaf node. Now we have removed an element from the max heap. Now we will see how to implement this in Java. For this I am creating a class named heap. I have declared a variable named heap which is of type list. Now I have created a constructor which assigns array list to this heap. Now we will create some helper methods. Now we will create get left index helper method. It takes index as a parameter. And we are finding the left index with this formula 2 into index plus 1. If the left index is lesser than the heap size, we are returning the left index. If the left index is greater than the heap size, we are returning minus 1. Similarly, for get right index, we are creating a helper method which takes index as a parameter. We are finding the right index with the formula 2 into index plus 2. If the right index is lesser than the heap size, then we are returning the right index. If it is greater than the heap size, then we are returning minus 1. Now we will write a helper method to get the parent index. Get parent index method takes index as a parameter and we are finding the parent index with the formula index minus 1 divided by 2. It is an integer division. Index is not equal to 0. Return parent index. Then return minus 1. Now we will perform the shift down. Now this is the key method which makes use of this helper method. We are writing a method named max if down which performs sift down and it takes index as a parameter. First we are getting the left index and right index. We are assigning the larger index to minus 1. If the left index and right index are not minus 1, then we are assigning the largest index value between the two childs. If the left index value is high, we are assigning the left index value to the large index. If the right index is high, we are assigning the right index to the larger index. If the left index is not minus 1, then we are assigning the left index to larger index. If the right index is not minus 1, then we are assigning the right index to the larger index. If both left index and right index are minus 1, then we are returning. This is the base case in shift down. So here we are checking the parent node is greater than the larger index. So here if the child node is greater than the parent node, then we are doing the swap and we are performing the max shift down with the larger index. Now we will see how to perform max shift up. Max shift up method takes index as a parameter. We are getting the parent index. If the parent index is minus 1, then we are returning. Else, we are checking the parent index value is less than the child index value. Then we are performing the swap between parent index and child index. And we are recursively calling the max shift up method with the parent index. So this is max shift up. Similarly, we can perform min shift down and min shift up. Here the key difference is instead of getting the max nodes between the child nodes, here we are taking the min node among the child nodes. And then we are checking the child node is lesser than the parent node. If the child node is lesser than the parent node, then we are swapping the child node with the parent node and 
we are recursively calling the min shift down with the smaller index. Similarly, in min shift up, we are just checking if the parent index is greater than the child index, then we are performing the swap between parent index value and child index value. And we are recursively calling the min shift up with the parent index. Now we will see how to perform this remove function. If the heap is empty, we are throwing a new exception named list is empty. And here we are performing the swap between the root node and the last element in the heap. Because we are filling the empty root node with the last element in the heap. Now we are removing the last element and we are calling the min shift down starting from the root node. Now return the result. Now we will see about add method. Add method takes the value need to be added. We are adding that value to the heap and we are calling the min shift up with the last index value which we have added. Thanks for watching this video. For more technical videos, subscribe to this channel.